I want to show a quick tip when you're using the mocking framework mock MOQ for .NET and sometimes what you want to do is when you're trying to mock a particular interface you actually want to take the arguments that are in the setup of the mock and use the values and the returns on the setup of the mock of the function. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and create my test method, just call it test for now, and what I'll do is I'll create a method and what I'll do is I'll call it func data and I'll go ahead and take the arguments that are same as the function. I'm going to go ahead and return just say the sum of the, the two arguments. So, you know, this is just an example to demonstrate sort of the principle. It's not uh, really meaningful uh, uh, in a real-world sense. So, what I can do is go ahead and set up the mock of the interface, and I'll call it mock test, and I like to set up, uh, I like to set up strict mocks. Um, and what you do is, we need to set up the mock of the, um, the func. I'm going to go ahead and set it up so that'll take uh, any type of integer argument. So this will apply to um, anything I call with any integer argument. And whoops, go ahead and get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is set up the returns. And what you do is use a lambda expression and you actually specify the type with the arguments and then you go ahead and then I can return the func data that I defined down below here and I can go ahead and pass in those values. So this is sort of the the key to it here um, and then I can go ahead and create a uh, Implementation of implementation of the um, I test use the um, mock test instance, and then what I can do is you can see for example I can go ahead and um, uh, assert and I'll assert that R equal. Let's just say for example I can say five, I can say test dot func, and I can go ahead and pass in for example two and three. Um, and then I can go ahead and set up a, another one and I'll set it up as a 3 and I'll say test uh, func and I can go ahead and pass in a 1 and 2. So go ahead and I'll debug into this and actually show it in action. So set a breakpoint there, go ahead and debug the test and so here you can see I go ahead and setting up the, the mock and on the setup and when I call this, I'll actually step into it. And you can see there, it's actually going into the Lambda expression. Now I'm going into the function. And then as I step through, you can see that the asserts are working. So again, I'll step in. It's actually going into the Lambda expression, uh, goes, calls the function, and then it, it goes ahead and uh, asserts. So this is a comes in handy. I mean, I don't use it a ton, but there's certainly situations where you want to be able to uh, mock the implementation of a function and be able to take the values that are passed into the mock and use them in the re in the returns portion um, and actually use those values and pass them through to, you might pass them into some other function or what have you to simulate uh, some type of uh, maybe database call or what have you. So. Hopefully this helps out. Um, have happy unit testing. Take care. Bye.